T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off the Falcon 9, go 1 Web 4. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage mode propulsion is nominal. So at T plus 33 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E at Vandenberg, carrying the 20 Eutelsat OneWeb satellites. During ascent, we tilt or gimbal the engines to turn the rocket horizontally into what we call uh, a gravity turn nominal. to put the rocket on its path to orbit. And moments ago, we throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is coming up in a few seconds. Max Q. So we just had max Q, and the rocket typically needs to go 28,000 kilometers per hour, or about 17,500 miles per hour, horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth by gravity and get into orbit. Now we have five and events. Kill. Now we have five events coming up in quick succession: Miko stage set, SES one, and boost back burn, which starts bringing the first stage back to the launch site, and then fairing deployment when the fairing halves will separate from the second stage. So we have Miko in about 30 seconds from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there you heard and maybe even saw Miko, stage sep, SES one, and the start of boost back burn, which will last for just under one minute. We have some really awesome views on screen right now. And coming up next, we have fairing separation, which is in a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And as you just heard and can see right there, we had confirmation of successful separation of both fairing halves from the second stage. Both of the fairing halves on today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for its 11th time and the other for its 13th. We will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back to earth using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Stage one boost back shutdown. And so we just heard the call out for a successful end of the boost back burn. And the first stage booster is now flying back to Vandenberg Space Force Base for a landing on landing zone four, which is just 1,400 feet away from the launch pad where it took off. It's now T plus four minutes and 17 seconds into today's mission, and we're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns before satellite deployment. Just over six minutes into flight, you should see the start of our first stage's entry burn. And for the entry burn, we relight three M1D engines, engines one, five, and nine, which slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we slow down to reduce reentry forces, which helps us recover and reuse the first stage. 
During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. And this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, and that deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 burns. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and reentry. The MVAC engine is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum, and on your screen you'll notice a you'll notice a shorter nozzle that's attached to the Merlin vacuum engine. And our teams use a shorter nozzle when we don't need as much performance to get the payload to its final destination. But we still fly full-size MVAC nozzle. MVAC nozzles on missions that require a more significant amount of thrust from stage two or ones that contain a heavier payload. Entry burn is going to come up shortly and so we should be able to see that on stage one when the engines relight. Stage one entry burn startup. So entry burn has just begun. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And we just had a good call out for entry burn shutdown. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investment in critical scientific research. And the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission just performed that entry burn for its seventh time. And this booster has previously supported the USS F-62 mission, as well as five Starlink missions. We're now waiting for the first stage to land at landing zone four. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one transonic. Good call outs there where Falcon 9 is slowing, the stage one is slowing down. Landing burn should be coming up shortly. Stage one landing burn. And there we have Stage a landing burn where guidance. engine 9 has relit right before touching down on the landings at landing zone 4. Stage 1, landing leg deploy. Stage 1, landing confirmed. And there you have it, that landing Stage marks SpaceX's 357th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And we are now waiting for second engine cutoff, which is coming up next. Nominal orbital insertion.